Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be working on a vehicle made by General Motors guys. And if you're trying to find out how to test your fuel pump, okay, if your fuel pump is working or not, stay with us guys and we'll explain what needs to be done. Now, first we'll explain how we can manually do that and second with the computer, which is super simple guys. Quick introduction, we'll guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. This is guys because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. If you need to buy any tools or parts guys, check out the link in the description of the video below you can get them for a very good price and fast shipping as well now we'll explain what needs to be done guys to test your fuel pump super simple guys now if you do not have any special tools or anything like that okay if you have guys a, a fuel pressure tester i'm going to explain what to do uh, on your chevy a buick gmc guys cadillac most of the times on the fuel rail okay you're going to have or on the fuel line somewhere you're going to have a uh, place where you can connect the pressure sensor okay it's kind of like a valve stem guys you screw it in and it's going to read okay how much pressure you have in the fuel system however guys if you don't have the two i will not recommend that and don't do it but what we usually do guys and uh, you have to do that on extremely cold engine you have no spark anything like that no smoking a fire extinguisher on the side because you can catch the car yourself and everything else around on fire is usually what we do okay we're going to uh we're going to remove the needle here slowly because it will be under enormous amount of pressure and we're going to connect a hose that fits here on a bottle and turn ignition on and see if it's going to pump fuel that way we can see if it works but guys do not do that to get the correct tools because uh, i've seen people set themselves on fire okay i heard terrible stories about that so i was one of them i caught a car on fire that way so that's one way to do it but if you have the pressure tester you just screw it in and you check your fuel pressure that way you will know if the pump is working or not most of the times on the uh, non-direct fuel injection engines it's around 400 kPa okay this is probably about 58 I think psi pressure it really depends but it's somewhere there uh, and <coughs> I'll show you guys what else you can do on um, most vehicles guys okay it's super simple to hear your pump running and I'll explain why but on uh, General Motors okay some of them you cannot do that I'm going to connect that scanner now guys and I'm going to explain a few more things while we are doing that. On most vehicles if you turn the ignition on, okay, if you turn the ignition on guys, the first couple of seconds or one second you're going to hear the fuel pump, okay, behind the rear seat to uh, where the fuel tank is on most cars, it's going to uh it's going to make a noise guys, like bzz, bzz, okay, and stops immediately. That's a fuel pump guys okay i heard it and then it went away you can hear it only one time on chevy and once it builds pressure and the fuel pressure sensor uh, sensor reads that what would, what's going to happen okay it's going to not turn on at all anymore and it will sound like a bad pump now what you can do guys turn the ignition on okay and if you guys have a car okay that scanner guys is something you should consider that thing can pay itself off in one time use guys it's simply amazing and i'm going to explain why this works on any car not just chevy guys G uh, chevy gmc buick cadillac it works on any car you can think of you can read and delete codes from every computer in your car and you can see live data which is super important pretty much it's dealer level equipment without the programming which most of you will not need so i'm going to select now 2015 passenger car chevy cruise it's going to load, ask us which engine we have. It's going to load the menus now. And we're going to see the live data, guys. Through the live data, we'll be able to see, okay, if that uh, fuel pump is activated or if it's not. And we're going to check the fuel pressure sensor as well. That's how we diagnose them. And that way you don't even need to mess with the fuel, catch yourself on fire, spray fuel or anything like that. Those are all the computers in this car, guys. So you can check them. Now, if you have direct fuel injection, it will be under fuel injector control module. You can see all that. In our case, guys, most of the times it's under chassis or engine. And in our case, it's under chassis now. So it's connecting now, guys. And right here, you can see it says fuel pressure sensor, 471. So quite high pressure, guys, because the pump turned on. The desired pressure, okay, 
according to the computer it should be 399 I'll start the car okay if your car doesn't start but just cranks okay you will still be able to do that check out the sensor fuel pressure sensor it means pump is running fuel pump command on if I turn guys the ignition off okay it's going to say off check it out now ignition is on I'm going to start the car again and when I start the car guys check out here it's going to say how many percent the fuel pump is running now it's running only about half speed so if I rev the car up okay you're going to notice that this number will change because the car needs more fuel guys check it out all the way to 54 percent so that way you can tell if your fuel pump is working or if it's not the speed of the pump and all that stuff so definitely guys that's the easiest way to check things and if you're on the market for a good scanner as i said guys okay this is probably the best one that you can find and i think it's definitely guys worth the money in my opinion so if you guys need help with anything uh, let us know we'll be more than glad to uh, help you guys with anything we can so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time